How's it going everyone and welcome to a new start to Stardew Valley. The reason I started all over is pretty much I wanted to get rid of any mod that took up or needed to use PYTK, TMXL, and custom music because it, from what I understand and read up on, it affects performance a little bit. So I wanted to get rid of it and see how everything works. I also got rid of Stardew Valley Expanded. The reason why is I wanted to do a playthrough of just Stardew Valley Expanded one day and add maybe some mods to it that could go with it, but that's about it on that. We're gonna go ahead and start a new game. It doesn't matter what cat I pick. I have um, Adopt a Skin. I also haven't messed with anything except the profit margins to 50%, and we're gonna be using the Waterfall Large Edition Forest Map. Really good for really good map and there's some new updates since the last time I tried it out and I can't wait to show you This is our character. His name is Kingly. We're on Kingdom Farm and our favorite things are crowns like like normal pretty much We're gonna skip the intro now. I would click this but it actually doesn't work You don't actually start out with the mirror which sucks, but we're gonna go with okay And so that means it's bugged by the way that's just From what I understand is it works if you have only one fashion sense mod but I have more than one, so I might add more eventually. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK, but once I click OK, it's gonna take a little bit of time to load in. So give me a bit of time and I'll be right back. All right, we're in the game, everything's set up. Now, I did get rid of the reshade because I wanted to see if it helped with performance. I've also gotten rid of Walk to the Desert Redux. I think I've mentioned this because it requires TMXL to use the warps. So I figured we didn't need it. I got the bus stop mod that lets us use the bus stops to get to Zuzu City and all that. I do have some custom mods thanks to a certain person I've met on Discord who helped me get some non-TMXL versions of some mods. Um, what's this? Okay, don't know what this is. Um, we will not, I don't know what this is. This is free. It is free. Um, yeah, we're going to get rid of that. Um, I don't know what this is, but it's part of dynamic game assets. I'm going to get find out how to get rid of this. Um, but anyways, yeah. Uh, we have some mods, and apparently we have something that I didn't even know existed. So that's interesting. Reset terrain features. Toggle lookup. Summon horse. Look up hard events. The bus stop has one. Craft from chest. Stash to chest. Collect outputs. Dispense outputs. Um, we don't have the magic mod. I felt it was too cheaty, so I got rid of it. I'm trying to make the game as hard as possible while not being as too hard, but not being easy, pretty much. Anyways, let's check the mail. Oh, this is to let us know that we have custom casts involved and we can make casks now. It's pretty cool. And this is about putting prismatic shards in the crystallarium. That's pretty cool. This is another new mod I got called Inheritance. It pretty much gives you an inheritance that was left over from your grandpa because it kind of makes sense, I guess. It's auto on 5,000, I'm pretty sure, unless I changed it, I can't remember. Kingly, I see you found the letter I hid under the mailbox. I know the farm was in decline before my passing, and I regret that I was unable to continue caring for the land. It isn't much, but this is your inheritance. Use it well to do what I could not, Grandpa. All right. We'd like to invite you to D&D's Cat Cafe. Feel free to drop by during our opening hours. We're located in East Scarp. Looking forward to seeing you, Diala and Dura. All right. And here's the TV. This map has a problem with the TV for some reason. Strange bun. I'll show you what that's about in a minute. No, don't, don't eat the strange bun. And no more mail. Okay, so the strange bun, there's a statue over by Grandpa's Shrine that lets you turn on and off monsters by sacrificing a strange bun. Well... I want monsters on, so we're going to leave it. Anyways, let's check this out. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now, the forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Ooh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb, a shard of knowledge from the future. So spirits are in good humor today, I think I have a little extra luck. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage. Earn some cash while watering. Waiting on your first harvest. All right. Let's head outside. I forgot the present in there, but what's this? Oh, market day. Okay. Hello, Kingly. I've had an idea that will really put Pelican Town on the map. A market day. 
We may be a small town, but with hard work, we can create a market that's known across Ferngill. Maybe across the world. What do you say? Are you ready for the challenge? Yes, I want to help create a famous market. Great, we'll start small. Just you and two other shops. At first, you'll be able to showcase your best three items. As soon as you sell 40,000 gold worth of items, we can expand. Bigger shops, automatic restocking, the sky's the limit. And as we become more famous, you can sell more items for more money. To encourage you, every week, I'll, uh, I'll award a prize if your goal reaches the sales goal. What day should we have the market? Saturday. The traditional choice. Good idea. Saturday it is. What if it rains or snows? Cancel the market on bad weather. Probably for the best. There's always next week. Those are the main things we need to decide. We can work out the finer points anytime. Do you want to check over the details? No, I already said it in the config. Here's, here's to a pro very profitable venture. All right, so that's market day. You'll see what it is on Saturday. It's pretty cool. It's pretty new too, so. Oh, what's this? Maybe's good luck fertilizer. Proudly in production for 50 years. Promises to keep your crops safe from crows and lightning. Interesting. We'll definitely have to be uh, using that a bit. All right. So first of all, we have something I want to show you. We have a mod that gives us the crafting and building from Stardew Valley Expanded. So wood, we're going to need 100 of it to build the chest. It's pretty expensive, but I think it's a pretty good challenge. So... I'm going to chop some trees down to get wood for a chest. So give me a minute. I'll be right back. All right. I'm back. I'm getting little bits of stutters. There's nothing I can really do about it. It really does suck. And I have no idea what I'm going to do. But I wanted to play. So we'll just stick to it and deal with the stutters. That's all there is to it. All right. We need five rows or three sets of five. And we need to put, there we go, put these down, there we go, and there we go. Let's go ahead and deposit that to the chest. And we don't need to put any of the tools away because we're going to be getting some new tools. Oh, that sucks. That was blocking my way. You know what? Actually, let's go and let's go this way. Let's go over here. So you might think this leads to the back way where, you know, Robin should be and everything after you, you know, take the little path. But nope, it doesn't. Instead, we got this neat little area before it. It's just a new extra area that adds something like Grandpa's Shed to the waterfall farm. It's really cool. Can't wait to use it. This is the reason I switched to using this instead of Immersive Farms. Well, also because I can't use that mod because I don't have Stardew Valley Expanded installed. So, you know, at least we got something. Grandpa's Shed's pretty cool. This just leads, you know, to each side. Now, if I go over this way, I will be at... You know, the back path. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and grab that. We'll grab all these. This is Forges of Ferngill or something like that. Or no, this that ain't that. This is, um... Yagasin's Forgeables or something like that. Oh, our first library book. Nice. Forging's already leveled up. Nice. Oh, there's Linus. We can go ahead and say hi to him real quick. Stranger. Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. There you go, Linus. Have a wild horseradish. Grab this. Grab this. Now, there are going to be some new, like, forgeables and stuff. Obviously, I have mods that add that stuff. Sham like, Shamrock's new. I still don't know what's causing this at all. Nothing I can do about it. It looks ugly, but you know what? Oh, well, I think it's actually the swim mod I got because I do have the swim mod because I have Jim Isles. Now, I'll show you what's over here in a minute. Let's go say hi to Robin real quick. Oh, Ree's here. Let's uh, give her this and let's give Robin this. 
All right. Hi, Robin. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Oh, speaking of, were any of the ones you came across a woman with pale hair and a permanent smirk etched across her face? Pretty sure she said she'd be back from the forest sometime this week. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Yuri. Or Eerie. It's Eerie. I was told it's Eerie, so that's how I'm going to pronounce it. And you? Oh, you're Kingly, right? Robin told me all about you. Oh, how do you like the house? I heard it belonged to your grandparents. We tried our best to restore it with the funds we had. I hope you like it. Alright, I do like it. Oh, Demetrius was in there, wasn't he? Oh, we're getting an event. Hello, Kingly. Do you already feel at home? Eerie and I worked really hard on your house to get it ready for you in time. Eerie. Hello, Robin. Hello, Eerie. I was just talking about you. Hello, Robin. Hello, Kingly. I heard you. You were talking loud enough so the whole valley could listen in. And I thought we made these walls soundproof. I hope you can I hope you commission Robin and me in the future when you expand your farm, Kingly. Whatever you need for your farm, as long as Eerie and I can design it, I can build it. Oh, I'm sorry to cut the conversation short, Kingly, but since Eerie is here, we have some business to discuss. Hope you don't mind. Sorry, Kingly. It was nice talking to you. I hope to see you later. And that's pretty much the end. We're going to go ahead and skip. Demetrius, I got something for you, my friend. There you go. I should probably meet you, too. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. No problem. You only get one, Everyone only gets one conversation. No, joking aside, let's go ahead and head on outside. Now, you might be wondering, what is this? What possibly could this be? And this is a new NPC mod. Two new NPCs, to be exact. This is Boxy. She does not like me. And this is Nikolai. Oh, hey, you must be Kingly. Nikolai looks sad. All right. And that's about it for now. I think we can go in. Nope, only Nikolai's friends. The door's locked. Okay, can't go in without Nikolai's permission. Got it. All right, well, that's uh interesting. Let's head into town. Now, there is a little event I have to get at the bus, you know, bus stop after I talk to Lucille. I do have Lucille installed. And I just want to say that I will be skipping it. It's a long cutscene. I've seen it multiple times already. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out on one of my other videos where I started. It's worth it. It's pretty neat. Oh, hey, there's Luna. I will not be marrying Luna this time. I'm going to not read everyone's dialogue, so. But yeah, I won't be marrying Luna this time. There's a new NPC. Oh, hey there. You must be the new farmer. I'm Shiko. Don't be a stranger, okay? I moved in a year before you. Cus has let me crash at his place. Here you go. Here you go. Hey, you're the new farmer, right? Lenny said you'd likely stop by. Nice to meet you. I'm Kenneth Richside, Village's own electrician. Hope you're doing well. All right. Let's go say hi to Alex. This is cool, thanks. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Let's go in here. Say hi to Evelyn and George. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granite if you'd like. And say hi to George. Let's give him this. And nice talking to you. Let's go. And leaks are his favorite, apparently, so we will be giving him leaks like crazy. We'll also be searching the trash cans. Luckily, the dogs don't care what I do. They're not judgmental like everyone else. Here's Denver. This is, uh female Denver so it's pretty cool what's up I'm Denver I'm sure you met my uncle Marlin right I haven't in this I haven't in this world but I have in other worlds there's some new forgeable stuff beach glass some more beach glass and a feather let's talk to you hola my name's Carmen if you need any fishing stuff I have your back all right, and obviously we cannot talk to Willy. There was a mod I was looking at that let you skip the Willy cutscene and let you go to the mines at the first, you know, time and community center. I was thinking of installing it, but I feel it's a little cheaty, so I decided not to. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. And there's another new NPC. Uh, do you like this? 
Huh? You can see me? Hello, I'm Cecilia. Nice to meet you, Cecilia. Let's talk to Jasper. Hello, King Lee. I'm pleased to meet you. My name is Jasper, and I, too, am newly returned to town. Let's head into the woods. Oh, there's Aspen. We can say hi to Aspen real quick. Oh, hey, neighbor. Gus said someone would be moving into the farm soon. My name's Aspen. Hope you like it here in Pelican Town. Let's go ahead and give you one of these. I don't know. Maybe I'll marry Aspen. I'm not sure. Hello, Jazz. I'm trying to talk to Mr. Ginger. Do you like that? No. Oh, she didn't like it. All right. I got to stop giving gifts to Jazz and anyone else who I know doesn't like him. Well, I didn't know if she'd like him or not. I don't. Some custom items are going to be hard to tell. So nothing I can really do about it. We're going to head this way. There's some forgeables here. There's a lot of stuff we can do with the wizard now, and I can't wait to show you. Now, there's two paths. This one leads to Luna, and this one, which leads to a new NPC mod. I don't really know much about this one, and it's kind of, because I tested out some stuff, this is a little buggy. And by buggy, I mean I found him in the wall once and behind a couch. Ah, you must be the new farmer. Robin told me about you yesterday. Welcome to Pelican Town. Hope you like it here. There isn't much dislike, really. It's a very nice town. So yeah, he's a little, uh, he's a little glitch, but his place is nice. The music is nice. Some stuff doesn't work. I want that. I want whatever chicken that is. I tested already. A lot of this stuff doesn't do anything, so I'm just gonna leave. But yeah, that's another new NPC. There is another new NPC somewhere around here, and we'll show you them. Let me see if it worked. Nice. So I have a mod called. Uh, expanded minecarts, which add minecarts all over the place. Luna is over. This is her house over that way. And um, there was one that messed with the Juna mod I had to get rid of. So that's pretty neat. Um, let's eat a wild horseradish. Oh, there's Cecilia's house. I don't know why it's fully repaired. It shouldn't be. So that's kind of odd. Um, we'll go down this way. There's a squirrel. And there's this. What's this? It is within this journal that I will record my condition in hopes of compiling enough information to learn what is wrong with my health. As of now, I've developed a painful cough as well as blue splotches on my skin. Sorry, I had a burp. Dr. Harvey can't explain it yet, but hopefully we'll have some answers soon. Jay. Jay. I don't know who I have installed that starts with Jay that that could be referring to. So we'll just leave it for now. Here is another new NPC mod. Let's go ahead and go on in. This is Eugene. I like the music he has in here. Forgive me for the awkward introduction. It's been a long, it's been so long since I had visitors here. It's not that I hate visitors. I just wasn't expecting them. Well, I've given so much of my time to this garden. I didn't expect anyone else to see it. Anyways, um, how are you Kingly? Pretty good. Do you like, so you like flowers, huh? You're welcome. Beach, mountains, cinder set forest, and bus stop. So, technically, we could get the mountains one and the cinder set forest one. Let's go into the cinder set forest. And no events are happening. This is cinder set forest, right? Or is it talking about the secret woods? It would be saying secret woods, though. I'm pretty sure. Let's grab this. I did notice that Stardew Valley expanded. I barely got any leaks, so this is kind of uh, refreshing get rid of this i'd rather have the leak uh the, the music is gonna be stuck for a minute because of this i don't know why um i might have to uh, figure out what's going on with this custom cutscene, but for now it's fine for me thank you Haley is involved with her camera did that count as me meeting her it did another new npc hey i'm dolores i'm sort of an outsider here so nobody really talks to me but it's so nice to meet you and it's nice to meet you too. And here, Jasper, you can have a flower. All right, let's go ahead and head up. Um, I guess we'll grab this dandelion. If I can stop getting stuck on every little bit of. We need to go see Pierre real quick. Even though I hate to say it, we need to talk to him. Oh, there's Marnie. Hey, Marnie, here you go. Thank you. Ah, oh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Nice to meet you, Marnie. 
I got things I gotta do, so see you later. Oh, Wilford was down there. I guess we'll go say hi to... Oh, there it is. Nice. Just had to go in from a certain spot. We should go on walks more often, don't you think? Yeah, it's nice to get some fresh air and relaxation for a few hours. Oh, we're here again. Yes, somehow we always end up here. I always wondered why the house on the cliff isn't sold yet. It had such a beautiful view. I wish Lewis would let us fix the house up. Secluded and within a, with a beautiful view, it would surely fetch quite the price. I heard the owner left the village years ago, and since then it's considered abandoned. I wonder what made the owner leave. I mean, if he still has paperwork to own it, you can't really take it. That's kind of messed up. I mean, if it's been years, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how that stuff works, but eh. It's the Hat Mouse's house. You can't take it. How dare you? Good question. We'll probably never know, but it's sad. Nobody took over, and now the wood is just rotten away. The wood needs to be treated at least every five years. Every two would be even better. I don't know. It looks pretty nice to me. You're right, but I guess there is nothing we can do about it. It has so much potential. Hey, Robin, what would you do with it if we could get our hands on the title? There you go. Now you're thinking. I would add a second story and build the balcony. Great idea. How about some large panorama windows? Perfect. Let's build a nice patio, too. Oh, how about the point? How about we paint it white and blue? So that was the event, right? Yep, mountains and beach when Vincent is there. Um, I don't think Vincent really visits to... Oh, I gotta fix this. Um, I'll fix this eventually. Ignore it. Ignore it for now. I'll fix it eventually. Um, I don't think Vincent's at the beach. Elliot is, though. We need to go say hi to Elliot. Um, but first, let's go talk to Pierre real quick because I have some stuff I need from him. We have money. I am going to upgrade our backpack on day one. <laughs> Hello, it's nice to meet you. You like leeks, right? Or spring onions? You're welcome. Hello, you must be Kingly, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Let's talk to you. Oh, hey, you're the new here, aren't you? The name's Sterling. I moved here not too long ago myself. Maybe it'll give us something to talk about over some beers. First one's on me, all right? See you around. Oh, that's right. I heard there was a new, new. There was someone new moving into the old farm. All right, Pierre, 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 take this soda pop ring. I sold it for nothing. All right, first of all. All right, and now give me this backpack, please. Nice. All right, Pierre, you have a lot of stuff I don't want at the moment. Instead. Yeah, just ignore most of that. We're after this. We're going to get 10 parsnip seeds. 10 potato seeds. 10 kale seeds. 10 bean seeds. I don't care about the hand mirror at the moment. We'll work on that some other time. And we're going to get the... Um, Let's see. Let's buy some more kale because you never know if we'll need all that. Last time it was 30 pieces of kale. And let's buy some more parsnip seeds. All right, we got plenty of seeds. We don't really need anything else. Now, the cool thing about the waterfall forest farm is it has a cave in it that does, like I th I'm pretty sure it has the bat part to it and the mushroom part to it. I'm not 100% sure. So I don't know how the Demetrius thing is gonna work, but we'll see. Ah, uh, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Alright. I like Elliot. I think he's nice. She goes over there. Alright, let's, uh... I don't really have much energy. Let's go ahead and eat some of this. Mainly so I can build my energy back up because I have to plant some more stuff. Let's continue exploring and meeting some people like Jade here. Hi, I'm Jade. I'm always around. <laughs> I 
I do have the, uh, oh, there's a new NPC. I do have the boarding house mod installed, but it's, uh, the cave is a little messed up right now, so we won't be able to visit it. Are you the new farmer? I'm so glad to meet you. I'm Tabitha. I'm new here too. My brother Theo and I just opened the straight cafe next to the bus stop. We're your neighbors. Neat. All right, let's go say hi to Clint. Er, hi, I'm Clint. Nice to meet you, Clint. See you later, Clint. All right, the mountains has a cutscene, so we're going to head to the mountains. We'll visit East Scarp eventually, but for now, I'm not too worried about it. I also want to go inside Joja real quick. Hey, you're new around here, right? Well, let me tell you now, this town is filled with weirdos, and I'm definitely one of them. Morris, I don't think, is an actual NPC fully yet. I don't think I can gift him. I don't have a mod that makes him one, so... Stardew Valley Expanded does, but I didn't really want to install that on this playthrough, so. Oh, wow. Did he just cuss at me? I do have Immersive Shane installed, so. Oh, and here's, um, here's Sam. I like this version of Sam. It's pretty cool. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. All right, well, let's see what Joja has for sale. Arsnip seeds for 12 Lots of stuff. Um, I don't want nothing from you. See you later. All right. Well, let's head up to the place we need to go, which I don't know what's up there. But we need to head up here. I'm going to add some shortcut areas because I feel like we need to. Um, I'm going to look into some mods that are perfect for that. We'll see. Oh, there's Maru. Oh, aren't you the new one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. All right. Maru's lovely as ever. I tried my best, but Lewis wouldn't budge. He said the quarry wasn't used in years anyway, so he doesn't want me to fix it. You tried. I'm surprised you offered him help in the first place since he still hasn't paid us. I didn't do it for him, but for the, for the community. It makes me so sad to see everything fall apart. Well, we could just prevent it. Don't worry, Robin. I'm sure everything will get better. Lately, a lot of new people moved to Pelican Town. Leah, Elliot, and Kingley, for example. When the town grows, maybe it'll change Lewis's outlook on the state, status of the buildings. You're right. I think we should head back to the shop now. I hope one day the town will regain its glow. All right, there's that event. And our next event is Pelican Town at 7 and the beach when Vincent is there and the bus stop. So let's head to the bus stop because that's literally where our next event is. So might as well go there, right? There's Luna. We've already said hi to her. I think I've already given her a gift too. Oh, hey, Yumashiro and I forget your name. It's Philip. I'm, I already talked to him before. I'm just going to go ahead and skip the dialogue. I'm going to say hi to Harvey real quick, too. And I'll say hi to them on my way back over there. But there's some more NPCs we need to meet. And 39 out of 93 people. Yay. I had I did have more NPCs, but I uninstalled them. Mainly because I, you know, I want to have the game run a little better. So... I uninstalled some of them. This is the Ridgeside Village start. We've seen this plenty of times. I'm going to go ahead and skip it. I need to talk to Lucy Kill to get his event to start. Let's give him a gift. And then once we go in there, his event will start. We will be skipping his event. I've seen it already. You've seen it. If you've seen my playthroughs, we will skip it. And no one's home. I know it sucks to skip stuff, but I've seen it before and I, I just want to get it over with. It's a really long event, so we're going to go ahead and skip it. Forgive me for that. That just unlocks a new character. That just unlocks Lucy Keel for the world. Let's go ahead and eat some spring onions. Get our energy back up again. We're going to go ahead and head on to East Scarp. Now, I purposely made the day longer so I could, you know, get, you know, more things done at the first day. We will be shortening the day again, but for now, 
it's, you know, it's fine. And we have some mods for uh, Gunther too, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and say hi to Blanc. And let's go ahead and head out. All right, we're gonna head up to East Scarp now, which is right over here. Now this is something you only get with East Scarp if you do not install Stardew Valley Expanded. Add some new NPCs, like here is Jesse. It's a pretty neat area. I don't know if there's like anything except character houses here, but hey, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if anyone actually lives here yet. No one lives here yet. At least it didn't look like it. And here we are, East Scarp. And here is one of the new mods that I have installed for East Scarp. This is pretty cool. It's the Cat Cafe. Hey, stop that. And this is Dura. Oh, hey, you got our letter. You notice Dura has a mouthful of cookies and is holding yet another cookie in her hand. Hello, welcome to D&D's Cat Cafe. Our name's still under construction. Dura and I co-own the cafe. Though instead of getting any work done, she's just stealing the cookies I'm making. That cat looks, these cats look lazy. I mean, it's, is it really my fault that you make such good cookies? Hey, you should give the farmer some to try. Well, feel free to visit whenever you're able to. We sell all kinds of baked goods and some really delicious drinks. Also, we have some really cute cats. Shoot, how did I manage to forget our selling point? Oh my god, I love it already. Well, we better get back to work. It was nice meeting you. Oh god, there's so many cats. Alright, so these NPCs. Are they marriageable or dateable? Lyle is. Cool. Tabitha is. That's cool. Wait, Juliet's not. Oh, I didn't know that. Um... Oh, they're both marriageable. Nice. That's cool. Look at all the kitties. Pistachio meows at you. Ooh, you can buy all kinds of food items. Um, Let's buy a maple bar. There we go. We can go upstairs. And this is their home. They're in their rooms. I want to say hi to them, but I can't. So that sucks. Um, does that count as me meeting them? 46. I'm guessing it does. Um, Because it was only at 39 and I've only met a couple extra people. So I'm guessing that counted. There's someone new we can talk to. Hey farmer, are you growing any interesting flowers this season? I sure am. Not yet. And 18 is not home. Okay. Let's go ahead and head up here. See if these guys... Oh, there's Eloise. Hi, I'm Eloise, but you can call me Ellie if you like. You're the new farmer, right? Did you see the monster man? Chaz said he's real scary and made her feel like throwing up. I wish I could have seen him. I wouldn't wouldn't have been scared. Well, that's kind of mean, Jazz. Um, hi, the name's Jacob. I'm Stardew Star Valley's mobile vet. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. So many cats. It's going to take a minute to load... All right. I'm thinking of disabling mobile phone. I'm thinking of getting rid of it. Because to be honest, it keeps coming up in the Smappy log that someone's calling me, but I don't have anyone's number. So it's like messing up. So I'm thinking of getting rid of it. It's not really useful. I mean, it is, but I really don't need it. So I'll probably be getting rid of that. We'll see. Let's go ahead and head over here. Oh, there's Aideen. Good day. I don't believe we have been introduced. You're the new farmer. Well, you must certainly look the part. I am Aideen, and it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Alright. No one lives up that way. I don't know if anyone lives in this one. Oh, yeah, this is 
Erie's in Charles' house. And Charles is home, so we can finally meet him. Hello, I'm Charles. Nice to meet you. Alright, let's go ahead and leave. Oh, an event with Charles. Nice. Hello? Oh, you're Kingly, right? I remember. Erie told me you were moving here. Well, welcome to East Scarp, where heart meets ocean. Nice slogan, don't you think? I hope we get along well. If you need anything, feel free to stop by our house. Erie loves guests. Anyways, I need to go. I want to pick Erie up from work. See you later, Kingly. It was nice meeting you. I mean, I saw her inside home, so she's home. Are you sure you're not forgetting? There's some... Okay, museum ones are already popping up. We won't be able to do that one yet. Those ones yet. I do know we get an event in here, so let's go ahead and head on in. I have seen this, but it's a East Scarp event, so I'm going to go ahead and play it because it's really, it's, I've only seen it a couple times and it's pretty new to me, so. And it's not as long as the Lucy Keel one. You scared me. Now look what I've done. I'm sorry. Me too. I didn't realize anyone else was here. Thanks for being nice about it. Look at this mess. Hope you didn't get sprayed by any melon juice. Well, that's a relief. The name's Rosa, by the way. From Fort Josa. Or Yoza? Is it Josa? I'm saying Josa. Yeah, I know. Rosa from Josa. My parents have a weird name, sense of humor. I'm working here temporarily. The owners of the inn are away for a while, so I'm keeping an eye on it. Maybe if I'm lucky, we'll even get some guests. As you can probably smell, I enjoy baking, and this place has a great kitchen. So if you ever find yourself in need of baked goods, coffee, or coffee, I'll be selling them at the counter. Feel free to stop by. Anyways, I better get this messed up melon in the bin. Don't be a stranger. Er, what did you say your name was again? Okay, don't be a stranger, Kingly. Alright, nice. And there is another NPC we can meet here, so we're going to go find them. We're also going to collect the forageables on the beach. I don't... Do I, yep, I do have the walking tide pools on, so that's awesome. Um, we can meet them. Ooh, there's a... What was this? A cockle, I believe? A mussel, not the cockle one. All right, well, let's go in here. Can I go this way? No. All right. Well, never mind. We'll meet Lexi. Eek, a human. You're not here to hurt Lexi. I'm here to be your friend. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. I'm here to be your friend. Friend? I like new friends. Did mother send you? Name is Lexi. It's a good name. It is my name. What be your name, strange person? Tell him your name. Tell them your name. Hello, Kingly. It's good to meet you, yes? Will you come visit me again, Kingly? I hop back in the water just because... I went all the way over this way for just because, you know. And then we're back in our clothes. And there was the other NPC from here. Um, I believe that's all the NPCs from this area. Besides Laville, which we cannot meet yet. Mia. Charles. Eloise. Jacob. Down there. Jesse. Yeah, I believe that's all we can meet here. We'll have to befriend them a little more. Get to know everyone in East Garp. Let's go ahead and head home. I really am missing that teleport mod, but I abused it so much and I had to get rid of it. Can we go this way? No, we cannot. It'd be kind of cool if there was like a cart here we can use to get back to the valley. Now there is a uh, minecart mod that I have that puts mine carts everywhere and I'm pretty sure it integrates into East Scarp. So I didn't see any, but it did have options for East Scarp. So we'll see. We've already talked to Jesse. Let's go ahead and head on home. We'll talk to anyone we haven't talked to yet. We've already talked to Abigail. We've already talked to Sam. So far, no one knew. And 
And Lucy Kill's just here, chilling. All right, see you, Lucy Kill. You just stand there. All right, so we got our crops right here. I'm gonna make more room. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10. Put the cauliflowers right here. And we'll go ahead and water them. I've gotten better at watering without that red square, so it's nice. I missed the spot. All right. We'll go ahead and. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. And there we go. Oh, it's lagged a little bit. It will do that. And later in the day, I've noticed it starts lagging a little bit more. Nothing I can really do about it, to be honest. So. And then we'll go ahead and clear some area right here. I'm going to put all this stuff in the chest. Get rid of this rock. All right. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We'll have the... um. Green beans here. We'll also be picking this chest up and moving it by the doghouse. All right, let's water this. I'm going to try to plant all these. I still don't know what I need for the community center, and I probably won't be able to finish this. That's why I'm glad we have Grandpa's shed again. It's not really Grandpa's shed. I should probably stop calling it that. Oh, we can't break right there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Can't get right there. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Let's go ahead and put the rest of the parsnips right here. Sure, it's not going to be even with the other one, but at least it's going to look organized. Let's go ahead and water this. I'm pretty much waiting for Seven to do that event. That got a little lag there. Nothing I can really do about it. Like I said, once uh, it gets farther into the game, it starts freezing and lagging a little bit more. It's nothing game breaking and I can deal with it. It sucks for video quality, but you know what? It's nothing I can really fix, so... Sorry about that. It was a little better before, but I was not able to do Ridgeside Village's updates, which, you know, sucked. There's four. Eight. Twelve. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant these, and I'm going to get the watering done slowly. It's going to take a while because obviously I'm out of energy, so nothing I can really do about that either. I don't have any food at all, so that sucks. But yeah, I'll see you guys whenever I'm done or at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock will probably hit first, but yeah, see you soon. All right, it's 7 o'clock. Let's head into Pelican Town. By the, by the time I come back, I should have a good amount of energy to finish watering. Of course, the game's going to be a little slow now. I don't know why I've done everything I could to fi try to fix it on my end, so something's going on. There's an NPC over there or something. No, that's just a lantern. Oh, this is the Sterling event. We've seen this, but I guess I'll see it again.
Also, I don't know what this is. Guessing it's one of these. And he barfed. Ew. Ah, uh, damn, my pizza dinner. Sup, Kingly? Sorry about that. I might have had a few too many. Shane and I were playing a drinking game while watching Clint. He doesn't exactly like being done up. Maybe you should play with us some one of these nights. We'll cash in those drinks I owe you. It won't leave you wanting. Sounds like a fun time. Yeah, maybe not this much booze, though. Ooh. Oh, I almost yawned for real after that. Oh, God. I'll work early tomorrow. Guess I should head home before Mia drags my ass back. Good night, Kingly. Yeah, during the night, Dusty's in his thing in his uh, doghouse. During the day, he's wandering around. It's pretty cool. Could you not tell Gus about that mess? Thanks, Farmer. All right, that's pretty nice and done. Uh, we did get enough some energy back, so that's pretty cool. What is this? Oh, it is. It's Dolores. Okay. Ooh, is that an apple? A crab apple. Just what I was wanting. There's some energy boost. All right, I'm going to finish uh, watering, and I'll be right back. All right, I finished watering. I literally have four energy left. Let's go ahead and go on in. We've actually done quite good. We met 51 people, so we met over half, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and get to bed. I didn't sell anything, but I did level up, so that's pretty cool. Forging level one. N nice. You don't usually get that right away. I also got rid of the mod that adds watering, XP, and uh, crop rot because I didn't really feel like that was needed. I still have the animals need water one, though. East Scarp, Smappy, updating the fruit trees and location, custom ESO Archard. Orchard, not Archard. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be adding and deleting mods, just not ones that have JSON assets. So any new items will not be added unless it's from an update from an existing mod in my mod thing. I will be get, finding out how to get rid of this. This is a little cheaty. Um, yeah, we'll be definitely uh, getting rid of that. I don't want I don't want to be able to get those items. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.